All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another reaction video. And today we're going to be uh, talking about CJ So Cool and his brother, Kenneth. His brother uh, went live on YouTube and did a whole lot of talking, talking about CJ and Lexi's relationship. And then he started taking shots at Royalty's brother, Van, calling him a couch potato. I mean, that's pretty much, that's all the negativity they've been spreading him, his mother, and that other clown that be stalking Royalty. You guys know what I'm talking about. That dude's got like, he's got at least like 200, 300 videos. He'd be dropping like back to back to back to back videos on Royalty, claiming that Royalty was responding back to things when in reality, she wasn't actually responding back to anything. Um, so that dude, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm not even going to mention his uh, channel name. But like I said, um, CJ dropped another video. And he actually changed the title to this video. Because in the last reaction video that I dropped, um, he had a, a completely different title. He had a completely different title for this second video where... I don't know. I'm not even going to bother reacting to it. I saw like the first five, 10 minutes of it. And it's just giving me the vibe of uh, a wannabe Kevin Samuels talking about a high value man that it, and that he's a high value man and the qualities of a high value man and like just relationship type of advice. I'm like, I'm not going to be listening to no CJ so cool for no relationship advice. So this was the video title is CJ so cool worthy of a high value woman. And that was when he actually dropped it within the first minute. I was actually, you know, reacting to the breakup video, the one I broke up with my girlfriend. Um, and then I saw he had just dropped that video a minute afterwards. And then today it has a completely different title. Well, at least he changed the title like within two hours after dropping the video. And I'm pretty sure maybe he'll probably change the title of this video a couple more times to get more views, to get into the algorithm or whatever. But I'm not going to listen to no CJ so cool when it comes to no relationship advice and high value man status and all that nonsense. Like if I want to listen to that stuff, I'd probably watch the real guru, uh, Kevin Samuels. Rest in peace to uh, Kevin Samuels. But we're not listening to no CJ so cool. That dude has failed relationships, has no idea what he's talking about. He's even admitted that he is the problem when it comes to these relationships. Like, I'm sorry, we're not going to listen to that bogus nonsense. But Anyways, uh, I wanted to react to what his brother, like I said, he went live and did a whole lot of talking. So let's uh, check this out and see what, what Ken had to say. Somebody had po uh, posted a video. No, they didn't post it. CJ, when CJ went back home to my grandma, my grandma was just saying, I know girl, we had a lockdown CJ. And it just shows you like, man, that still rings true today. Like, you know, the whole reason like he stayed in that relationship longer than oh, for nine years because you know, magic killed him down like so. Yeah, he's a, I always felt like CJ just was like more of a bachelor. Like I never seen him really settling down. I just like Lexi so much that I just wish it would have worked out. But you know, what? it wasn't my relationship. For, so, yeah. but somebody did was like, yes, yeah, I think uh, Charlene put some magic up to make him break up. He's done. He's done. Like so, yeah. videos already came out. I mean, it could always be fixed. I feel like. I mean, I don't. I don't hope it's the end. I hope they can. Hold on, man. So now he's trying to throw shots at Charlene, trying to blame. I thought this is Mr. Positivity. This guy claims that his channel, his uh, his words provide motivation and wisdom and positivity and all that nonsense. But here you are trying to tie back royalty to the breakup, which I honestly, my personal opinion, don't really think there is a breakup. I think this is all. I think this is all part of a plan. You know, Lexi said she's going to be creating a YouTube channel, so she might be signed under CJ So Cool. I mean, he already had her sign an NDA. So I don't know. I think there's got to be some kind of plan going on. And this is just one of those like chess piece moves. You know, this is all strategic. That's just what I think, folks. Um, but now they're trying to, well, CJ's brother is trying to point the finger at royalty claiming that she put some she spell a magic trick on it or whatever on their breakup it's like they always try to find a way to blame royalty for everything it's it's crazy folks it'll work it out in the future but actually was best for the kids but maybe they might come back i feel like uh lexi was like a great addition to the family but it's not like it's the end like <laughs> cj is gonna be good the twins is gonna be good like they still got us the whole family like so i mean 
Mimi was a big help. Like I can't even can't even front on that. Like Mimi was a huge help. When she was gone when they left, like you, you notice the difference in the house, the energy. Like I said, I was, I'm sad about it still. Like, but it was not this ain't, ain't my relationship. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Manny Matthews, that's true. Like you can always find somebody <laughs> that, that that fits the puzzle. Hi, it's God. What's up? What's up? Sipping on my tea. What's up? Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button. It's 31 people in here. 11 likes. I understand that y'all just coming to get some tea. <laughs> y'all really don't support me. So I can understand it. Like, if there's 20 people in here, it's like, man, I don't care about you. I just want to screen record, get some content for myself. Hey, it is what it is. I know you would know Kim. She did. Like, you could see that she needs help. Yeah, I mean, what well, royalty's done, like, he got away from it. <laughs> Then again, like, that don't mean she ain't stopped doing shit, too. Like, so, there's always things he can do, like, to clean his house, to clean his energy. Like, I take spiritual baths. I, t I do, I sage my house, put salt outside my door, like, things like that. Like, so I'm always fucking spiritually protecting myself. I don't know about that, Kevin. Can't you believe me? Maybe still when you come around. Would you like to see me hear my mom come here? He says he has to spiritually uh, clean his house or whatever. Like, they still think, I don't know what's up with these channels, but they really think that Royalty has done some kind of spell on CJ and his family. Like, come on, man. I don't think Royalty would do something like that, knowing that her kids go to that house. Like, I don't know what's wrong with these people. Like, sometimes I'd be thinking, like, is this all real? Like, are they really saying the things that come out of their mouth? Is this, like, really for real? Or are they just saying this shit just on YouTube? Yeah, like I said, I still like, like she's still part of my like. I mean, like she ain't part of my circle, but like it's still family in my eyes. Like I would never like turn my back on her like just because they broke up. <laughs> Y'all seen my mom do that hot chip challenge? And then when I'm like, you ain't learn from my lesson, she said, when you did it, I'm like, it's on YouTube, 2018, the CJ video. I did two hot chips at once, and never again will I do that shit again, ever. <laughs> It made for good content though. Talking about cut the What do I got to do with your copy of the body? Can't wait for more family content. But, yeah, my mom was out there bad. Talking about Carlos. I don't know what he calls him Carlos. Carlos can't help you. <laughs> yeah, I'll never do that again. Shout out to my boy Tevin coming through. I've seen some stuff on the internet about some other bad man cow over on no, no Jumper talking about CJ. And the soon the internet, I mean, the soon as the interview started, that was what they was talking about. And what's crazy about it, he was talking about uh, how that was the conversation before the, the interview started. And I'm like, well, why y'all talking about my brother before the interview? What he got to do with y'all's situation? But I know what it is. It's cop, like more cop. But talking about he don't want to get some girl tried to extort from him for 200000 but then he ain't, she ain't get no money. Then it, how you gonna go off something and say somebody getting extorted for two hundred dollars? They ain't get a dollar. Like so, I feel like that shit was cap. But I don't know what type of friends. No, I ain't gonna call that nigga no friend. I ain't, I've never met Bang Man Kelly. Yeah, that's exactly what I was just about to say, folks. Like he said it way before. I was gonna. I was just getting ready to say that. Um, I thought Bam Man Kevo. I thought. I thought all these guys were his friends. I thought CJ on Thirty Twos was his friend. Well, actually, CJ on 32s got put on by CJ So Cool. And now CJ on 32s don't give two shits about CJ So Cool. Bam Man Cavo initially was, like, taking shots at royalty when um, when CJ first got shot. And now it looks like he turned a blind eye to it. So you got to think about it. Why is all these guys that were part of CJ So Cool circle suddenly taking a step back? Could it be that they disagree with him? They disagree with his decision making or they just don't like him or they just don't want to see him succeed. What is it? But he chose those guys. I thought he was so wise. You know, he's a like he talks about business, this business, that. But you chose to have those people around you. So I don't know. It seems like you might be making bad decisions as well. Talking about Lexi. Her input was invaluable because you were already successful and she wasn't successful. So who is she to give you advice? But it sounds like you've been making a whole lot of bad advice. You've been making bad relationships because how is it that your best friends are turning against you? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't know the, his relationship with CJ. 
So I don't know if they cool or not, but that wasn't no, that wasn't no friend type stuff to me. Like y'all be talking about this man's relationship behind his back and before, <laughs> like if you ain't trying to help the situation, if you ain't help, if you ain't got nothing positive to say about it. Why bring it up? Especially if the interview ain't got nothing to do with my brother. Like that's weird, bro. That's some weird stuff. But the, like the first topic, as soon as the interview started, CJ. <laughs> But in all reality, when people are talking about you, got they name in your mouth, that's just more publicity for you, like for him. Like, so, No Jumper is a platform that got, it gets millions of views. Like, no, that just bring more attention to CJ. So, like, ain't no such thing as bad publicity at the end of the day. <laughs> and, and the fact that they were talking about some stuff that, like, happened years ago, like, bro, why y'all bring up? If this happened over a year ago, why are you having this conversation today? Like, if he's not right there. And then for you to bring it up on an interview, like, fuck, I know Adam 22, fucking, like, what he be doing, but... You know what's kind of crazy? I'm just getting the vibes that... I'm not even going to say this, but it, when Adam22 decided him and uh, his wife to do that whole thing about her sleeping with that other guy, I don't know, I'm just kind of getting the vibes that... I don't know, that CJ wants to do something like that. Because when he said that um, he wanted Lexi to sort of be committed... I guess he wants the type of woman to be committed just to him and stay home, but he can go out and do whatever he wants to do. So I feel like he wants to have some type of relationship. And if you think about it, that's how Adam 22 and Lena initially were like Lena was, I mean, she was kind of freaky, but she allowed him to sleep with multiple women. And then it got to the point where it is now where he allows her now to sleep with this other guy. And I heard about a second guy, like, these YouTube influencers are, are kind of weird like that. So I don't know if that's the direction CJ might end up. You never know. Maybe, like, a couple years from now, whichever partner he's with, which I think is probably going to be Lexi. I, I just can't see him trying to replace Lexi with someone better because Lexi is younger. She's more freakier, according to him. She has more... She brings more to the table. And the fact is... He didn't bash her the same way he bashed royalty. So that that's kind of like the red flag in this whole thing. All right. When he broke up with uh, royalty, like he was bashing her, dissing her, taking jabs at her, going on live, talking trash about her, dropping music about her, dropping merch, dissing her or bullying her, talking about his uh, Talking about uh, CJ's mom talking about bullying and harassment. Well, your son dropped merch so people can wear and support bullying his ex. All right. Talk about real bullying examples. Um, but he didn't do any of that with Lexi. Is he because he's scared of Lexi and her network? Or what's the real reason? Or this is all fake and staged because he hasn't like he's he's taking jabs at her. He kind of put her under the bus saying that. You know, she doesn't really provide a whole lot of valuable information to him because he was successful before her and he's more successful than her. But he also contradicts himself a lot. So for those reasons, at least for me, um, the fact that he didn't bash her the same way he bashed royalty is just a red flag to me. It just makes me believe that this whole thing might be just part of a bigger plan. Exactly, like bring him, bring City on the platform though, Jumper. Bring him, like let him have his own like interview. Don't have no fucking body host and talk about him. Like come on, man, don't get it from the horse's mouth. Well, bring me on that shit. I, I, I was watching no Jumper video. Nah, I said I ain't gonna lie. I really stopped watching no Jumper after eighty T real and left, and it wasn't even like that. It was like I stopped watching it because they left. It was just like I don't know. They put all that the, the energy that I was looking for when I was watching it. Uh, no Jumper, but the fact that I see. All right, we're going to have to skip around. I don't want to listen to no... I'm not really a huge fan of No Jumper. And, I mean, especially now after what he's been doing with his wife, that just shit is weird. It's so weird. This. Sorry. Oh. I'm coming. I try not to. I try to meditate. I try to take my deep breaths because I don't like going that far. <laughs> we, this is okay. I talked to Jinx probably like three, two or three days ago. You good? It's, I don't know why people think it's something wrong because nobody said like if a person don't show up in a video like man like it's still living life. Like, make sure I hit that thumbs up button. There's 73 people in here. Jay leached off him in some type of way, whether it was to get fame off the internet, get the YouTube channel popping, whatever. You know how many CJ so like CJ so smooth, CJ on 32. All these I ain't gonna call them copycats because if their name was CJ before CJ, but like still they came on and copied his to all these. Jay leached off him in some type of. Oh hold on, this is I missed this part. 
Pay attention. Look at all these so-called friends. They truly envious so of CJ. Not just telling me just something. Facts sneaking to go. Fact, everybody who came around CJ leeched off him in some type of way. Whether it was to get fame off the internet, to get the YouTube channel popping, whatever. You know how many CJ so like CJ so smooth. CJ on thirty-two. All these I ain't gonna call them copycats because if their name was CJ before CJ, but like still they came on, they copied his pattern. Did what he did. The jury, the cars. They're like I mean, well, CJ on thirty-two. You know cars before that, but still all these copycats. <laughs> and then he's like. He, he's talking about copycats, and then he mentions CJ on 32 and CJ so smooth. Uh, but then he's like, oh, well, they're not really copycats. It's like he's throwing he, – he, he's just making it aware that there are these other channels. They're not copycats, but they are copycats. So it's like, which one is the copycat? Because if you're going to say copycat, then at least give us a solid example. It was like when everything fell apart, they all just ran away and disappeared and like, you know, like – was on weirdo type movement like that's why it really is hard to trust people even when you get to the top because you got so many people that's trying to climb their way up too and they climbing up and grabbing at your garments clothes or whatever it is like your energy whatever it is i guess but it, that's why isn't that what you're doing too like you're trying to get views off of your brother like i don't i don't get it but i guess family is the exception right but it's like we're not everybody is just trying to get to the top matter and i don't know that cj so cool is really at the top because cj so cool is not like on mr beast's level but he, he is i guess somewhere on the higher floors but he's definitely not on the top floor because when you are someone successful and famous you always have people that are inspired by you like so i'm just glad to be back around so can't can't think a lot about that i'm just doing this she's gone who was able to see us all together? Hey. <laughs> what else happened? What else was going on? All right, they didn't know what she did because it's over. At the end of the day, it worked. While it it, it worked, and it, when it stopped working, it stopped working. Somebody like make sure you don't let CJ go back to Charlotte. And I'm like, man, CJ is not going back. Yes, that is the mother of his his kids. He not going back. But then again. I don't know. Maybe I need to do some magic to make sure they don't like come back together. You know, like just for. Damn, that dude's got like a real biased hatred for Charlene. Like, that is like, that seems to be like the majority of the video so far um, is Charlene. I mean, we're literally talking about the first ten minutes, and he's already talking about Charlene did a, a magic spell on Lexi and CJ breaking up. Um, talking about Charlene and CJ getting back together. I'm talking about Charlene has different tricks up her sleeves. You never know what Charlene is up to. She's unpredictable. It's like, damn, man, like, calm down. Like, Charlene hasn't even had any input since this alleged breakup. Like, the, the hate towards Charlene, it is crazy. And this is what I mean. Like, this is the red flag. The fact that they didn't even say anything about Lexi. They, he broke up with Lexi, but somehow he didn't bash her the same way he bashed royalty. Unless it's because Charlene is black and uh, royalty, uh, or I mean, Lexi's white. And I guess he, I don't know what it is. It's, it's got to be like some, it's either this is all part of a bigger plan or the breakup is just not real, folks. Because normally we hear him bashing, like, just look at his brother. He's like, he's got Charlene this, Charlene that, Charlene this, Charlene that. Like, like man, stop thinking about Charlene so much. True, well, you know, that's a good measure. I gotta protect it. People out here doing crazy stuff. TNT Infinity for like, what's up? Jarius, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate you. Denise, thank you for spiking and subscribing. Yeah, that's what brought that to America. <laughs> like, shit, so what the fuck? People don't understand like what voodoo and voodoo is is African spirituality. African, like that's what they was doing before slaves conquered, or, like, were conquered by fucking white people and brought over here, and then stripped away of all that they were taught and what they were raised to believe in to adopt some type of religious text we have today. Like so, a lot of people shit on fucking voodoo and stuff. It's because they don't understand it and they don't, they can't do it themselves. Most people hate on things they don't understand. Not just hate, but they dislike it. They don't want to understand it. And that's human nature. But, so so who's doing the voodoo then mister who is doing the voodoo is he is he back again trying to point fingers at charlene doing the voodoo good christian that just went to church every sunday read my bible <laughs> you two people like that so, uh, be, most people be on the west i mean east coast like <clears throat> 
it's 102 right here. Oh shit, it's that late. So she's like, all right. Yeah, we on two, two o'clock out here. I'm not on what they did. Good. And I had people talk about when y'all doing that. But either way, that shit didn't affect me. Shit didn't stop me from what I had going on. Like shit, as you can see, I'm still a success today. <laughs> Blessing you for calling me live. You, you always, well, I ain't gonna say you always catch a live, but I see your name. But I'll be live in a It's 51 people in here, and only, no, it's 52 likes and 105 people in here. Don't tell me half of y'all is haters. But I can't complain because that means y'all watching. Like, so I can't even beg for it like at the end of the day. Like if it's half of the people in here is haters and they don't want to like it, but they're still here, like, like they're still, I'm still getting paid. Like so if you're not a hater, I appreciate you for hitting that thumbs up button because it's super easy. All you got to do is tap. Not even a second. But <clears throat> All right, Ken, I'll, gi I'll give you a thumbs up. I'll give you a, since you really want that like, I'll give you a like. I mean, I normally like his videos anyway, just to support, uh, since we're kind of benefiting from each other I mean it's just a like button I mean it's not like I'm giving the man like thousands of dollars or something like that so excuse me people do have insecurity when people have insecurities and they feel a way about themselves they point it, they push that out energy out on other people like they, they try to call out other people what they think is insecurity like a motherfucker a troll will come in here and say oh he has a gap let me try to point that out like bro I'm not insecure about my teeth <laughs> like so I wouldn't be affected by that but if I was younger and in my younger days i used to feel some type of way when people said that that's why but so you're saying that trolls are talking about your teeth but your brother talks about royalties physical attributes talking about she's dusty musty and all that shit the way she dresses the way she looks the way she smells am, am i like I, I i don't know folks i mean you're talking about he's in his feelings because i guess some people in the in the comment section are trolling him about his teeth or i guess there's a gap um but your brother does it to royalty and this is what i mean like if he was gonna break up with lexi he didn't do nearly as much bashing on lexi as he's done to royalty from physical attacks to emotional attacks like i give it up to royalty to handle all of that like she's got to be a real strong woman to go through all of that and this is social media folks this is like this isn't like high school where you know maybe the whole school knows about you we're talking about like the freaking internet you know you got millions of people watching him basically attack his ex he's he's selling merch promoting bullying talking about like bullying right selling merch dissing his ex so people are wearing something to support bullying i don't know it's like and you're talking about your teeth and people trolling you it's like it's like come on man like you got to do better than that kept my mouth closed now uh i do a lot of talking because i don't care what people say about my teeth i know i'm handsome i know i look good never had a problem with getting women but that's what a troll would do they have so many insecurities they got they got to go point out I think the only, I personally, I think the only reason he gets women or it's probably because he says I'm CJ So Cool's brother. Like, he just gets away with that. But had he not been related to CJ So Cool, I don't know that he would get women because it doesn't look like he's got a whole lot going for him. The people stuff. So, it got a basement. I mean, that's how bad it be. They be in the goddamn garage. Hey. Should I have done? I just don't know what it best believe. If I let's say, hey, let me get your number so we can have a conversation. You know how quick you'll be to like want to talk and like want to be like, oh, I was just talking. Like, yeah. That's why I don't get that type of people, no type of shine, no type of energy. So, problems. And they misdiagnosed because they ain't want to see nobody about it. Like, they grew up in a hood where there was no such thing as mental health. I'm like, shit. But, yeah, a lot of people deal with mental health illnesses and they get on the internet and they fucking project that shit. I mean, you don't think your brother has mental health issues? The fact that he's engaging with women and then breaking up with them like that? I'm just going I'm going along with the story that he's telling us that he broke up with Lexi. So it's just like, come on, man. Facts. I'm in the backyard fucking hating on some shit. Goddamn, you and the neighbors fucking Wi-Fi hating. Like, damn, you can't even afford some shit. Shout out to you, KK. I try to be a good person. Excuse me. Definitely do people change like the seasons. That's why I pay them no mind at all. Like, I know you ain't, if I don't know, if I don't talk to you every day, then there's no way that you have any information about me. So for you to talk about me, like, I mean, the shit gotta be lies made up, like, fucking, yeah, shit crazy. I don't know. 
I mean, I don't got to make up anything because I'm just listening to you and reacting to you. And so far, I mean, there's really no substance to this life. I'm, I'm trying to get to the part where he's taking shots at, um, at Royalty's brother. I mean, so far he's been just taking shots at Royalty, but we want to get to the part where he's talking about, obviously, the title of the video, Van the Couch Potato. We have a lot to talk about because it doesn't seem like a whole lot. Maybe I need to increase the speed of this video because there's so many pauses. Like, you could have just done this video in a, this live stream in an hour. My man is my 30. Probably got in my comments on YouTube. Like, see, they don't look nothing like you or Jinx or your mom or your grandma. Are you sure that's your brother? Like, the internet's crazy because then you got people saying that we do look like. So I don't go off none of that. Like, it really don't matter at all. Nah, he definitely looks like CJ So Cool, but I mean, CJ So Cool looks more athletic. He looks like a couch potato. Speaking of couch potato, so I'm all Van is a couch potato. No, you look like a couch potato. I mean, I don't know. You're you're shaped like a couch potato. You might not be a couch potato. I just know I look good. My name means handsome. If y'all don't believe, I'll be telling people. Kenneth means handsome. Information for me to like you hear my name every day. Somebody tell me I'm handsome. And then my middle name is L E L. That means God. So handsome God. I've been telling myself that since I never knew what my name meant. Like before, and I was still a religious person, but I just knew what Jinx twins. <laughs> we just look alike. We ain't twins now. But just think about it. We all got a twin out there somewhere. Like somebody, we all got doppelgangers out there. Just to change whatever the fuck you with. Huh? I'm not wasn't here. Uh, in my conversation on a webcam and because i was so insecure about my teeth i would get into these live streams and i would just troll everybody because i was insecure i thought people would point at how my teeth look so before they can point me out i would try to target them at what i thought was an insecurity about them that's why i don't trip when trolls come <laughs> like because i've been there before your boy just more mature now so who's the oldest cj is the oldest out of the boys but we got the oldest sister too I got an older sister named Shayna. I'll be deleting the messages quick though. <laughs> like I'm trying to see something. Like you know how you just be loading, you just want to see what something say. But it's what it is. Seventy likes up in here. I mean, so that means it's like a constant fifty haters in here. Cause it's like it's been like fifty people who haven't liked the live stream, and it's like been a consistent like so. Damn, he's so pressed about the likes. Like, come on, man. I mean, I can't be mad at that because they here the whole time. So that means I'm getting paid for it. And like, cause I know well, the name's good. She's retard, <laughs> retarded. It. I've been to therapy before. Yeah, cause retard strength come in. Like it's like throwing shots, and I just hope nobody. Just, I mean, like, because it was at a point in time where I didn't think I was so handsome because I had a gap. So to know, like, my name, like, I always was telling myself kind of handsome or not telling myself. I was just always hearing my name by other people. And that's an affirmation by saying handsome, handsome. Damn, he's still talking about himself being handsome and that he can get all the ladies and still talking about his teeth. Like, talking about insecure. I mean, you're still on the topic of your teeth. I'm handsome. Like, I started to believe it at a point in time. And then, like I said, I never really had a problem getting girls. Like, that never was an issue. I just used to be like, man, if my teeth was closed, I would look so much better. But, man, just imagine. Yeah, if my teeth was closed, I would be like Usher. I'd be stealing niggas' girls. Dude, you can get your teeth fixed. I mean, if you're so... If you're, if you're so insecure about the gap, that gap can be easily fixed. It's like, cut it out, man. Like, if you had money like your brother, that could have been fixed. Um... Even if it's surgery, I mean, not even really surgery. You can just put a, um, I'm not even going to get into it, but it, it can be fixed, folks. Money money can fix most things. It might not fix everything. It might not be able to cure chronic, certain chronic conditions because that's just the way our pharmaceutical companies are designed is to produce medicine that only treats things temporarily or for a period of time, and then you have to constantly refill on it. But... When it comes to, like, dental stuff, that stuff can be fixed, man. There's, like, crowns. There's there's all kinds of reconstructive surgeries. Like, shit like that can be easily fixed. But are you willing to pay for it or can you even afford to pay for it? Or is your brother even willing to put you in a position where you can afford it? I don't know. But 
keep talking about it, it ain't gonna fix it. You can fix it. If it's a problem, you can fix it. I'm just gonna keep my guy because it's what kicks me home. Like, so, even though, like, I know I've had some, just know if my teeth was closed, like, nobody would be safe with no ice scrubbies. No, let me not say that because I'm a fake friend. I'm not tripping on my teeth. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, like, so I was just on the side. He ain't mentioned the second game where I was scoring up. Like, that'd be, that's crazy. It's 50 haters ain't here no more because <laughs> it's not, it's more like 48. Like, but thank y'all for liking who, who wasn't a hater. But I just know they just be in here, just lurking, just ready to have a conversation about what I said afterwards. Like, you know how they be on fucking Love and Hip Hop when they fucking do it, where they all come together and they sit talking about how the episode went? Like, that's how these motherfuckers on the internet be. Soon as you make a video, they got, they, they write notes, taking notes off. He said this, this, this. Oh, yeah. Can't fuck up when it comes to these motherfuckers, but your boy is Mr. Perfect for a reason. Because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> he says he don't give a damn. He's Mr. Perfect. But you've been talking about haters, trolls, your teeth, and being handsome for like the last hour now. Like, I've been skipping around, folks. Uh, there is no way I'm going to watch this whole thing, like, from zero to two hours. There's just no way. There's so many pauses that I'm just repeating himself over and over and over and over again. I'm talking about he's not insecure, but he comes back and talks about his teeth. Time to be family. I never thought it's all about drama, Petty. Like, like, I have to, I have no choice but to deal with trolls because, like I said, I used to be a troll. I used to troll as a fucking immature ass teenager. Like, so, it's called Carter. <laughs> I'm just paying. When I do call out, y'all, y'all, Empress, like, said she was doing something she wasn't supposed to be doing. Is that why y'all, man? Like, because in reality, why else would you hate on me? Like, that's, that's the weirdest thing ever. Like, like Y'all doing a good job because I ain't seeing no, I ain't seeing damn shit. I was always just like doing shit because I was insecure about myself. Now I don't have that problem. <laughs> and nobody had a mind to protect other people from me. Like I was out there wild. Like so, like, and this ain't nothing. Gap tooth. I've been I had a gap tooth my whole fucking life, man. I love this shit. Hey, you should ask my wife what this thing I do with my teeth. My, my, that's too regular. Damn, he's still talking about his teeth. I literally fast forwarded like 20 minutes and he's still talking about his teeth. That's crazy. Man, you can get that thing fixed. Even if you can't afford it, you can finance it, sir. They have finan financing plans. You can finance it. You can fix that tooth problem since it's bothering you so much. You've been talking about your teeth for literally an hour now. Go that way, but come on, man. Well, you know what the devil is? The devil is those negative thoughts that fucking be in your head. The devil is the, the way you feel about yourself and it's not so positive. Like, the things you tell yourself, that's the devil. People think it's a motherfucker with a pitchfork. Nah, this is hell right now. Earth is hell. Why do you think so much fucked up and bad shit going on this planet? This, hey, when you die, that's going to be... The f now he's talking about the devil controls your mind and the way you think about yourself and makes... And the way you call out the flaws. Man, you can fix your teeth, man. If it's a problem and you keep thinking about it over and over and over again, go to the dentist and get a, you can finance it, man. You can pay like 50 bucks a month. You might be paying that damn thing off for like the rest of your life at that point because it might be at least like 10, 20 grand to fix that. Um, and who knows what's wrong with his mouth altogether, but you can fix it. It's not like, uh, you know, it's much easier to fix it when you have teeth and bones in your jaw. But if you don't have any teeth at all, um, then at that point, you gotta you gotta go to implants and implants are more more difficult it's not guaranteed it'll even stick there but the point is it can be fixed i don't know why this guy's so paranoid about his teeth so insecure talking about he's not insecure but you literally spend the first hour of this video talking about your damn teeth every time you get some real peace in this bitch it ain't no fucking heaven or hell in that life dude. <laughs> i got seven kids that i take care of like in my house. We're talking about people who live paycheck to paycheck and like would never get ahead of life, never have 10,000 in their bank account, but live on the internet and judge other people because they wish they was in my position. <laughs> Motherfuckers wish they brother was CJ so cool. Like that's what it'd be like. They just wish like, damn, why'd he get to be his brother? Like he's already handsome. He already looked good. Why would he live this lifestyle? That's how they really be feeling. Niggas fucking girl be watching my YouTube channel and they be getting insecure and feeling some type of way about that. Like, you know how these haters be. But that's always been like, we've always been hated on. 
growing up in the in Gary, my family has always been hated on because of who we was. Like Cedar has always been Cedar. Like he is Cedar is so cool. It's not something different from who Cedar is. That's the same person. So like I, like I said, I've always been handsome. Like I, I always had a great head on my shoulder. Like so, being hated is nothing new. That's the, how he be communicating. Like shit, I'm like hey, come to Carol. I pay my all my bills before the first every month. Like so, like uh, you two don't pay me. Like so. Here, so they can have a reason to have a conversation about you. Like, this nigga probably is inspired by me. I'm like, I don't know. Well, wow. Once last. Dang, what happened, TNT? For life, I ain't saying nothing to something. Let's see. What should we do? Let's see. 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 Don't you want to get on the camera? I'm not talking to you. It's a good person is like shit. If Lexi is a good person, and like I feel like, man, like I said, I, you never know what person what goes on behind closed doors. So I just feel like she was good from my perspective and what I've seen when I went over yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I can go on, off of. Like, so, but, for, oh, girl, my brother, hell, like, don't go backwards. Not that way. <laughs> I mean, when you show your, when you're outside, when you go to work, that's that version. The second version is the one that you show your close friends, your family. And then the third version is the one you show truly yourself, like who you really are, like so. Yeah. They're the entertainment. They, they haven't been raised on camera. Like, so for them to be on camera, they always wanted to experience, so. JJ, why are you making all that noise? It'll be over five years now. I know. In bed by this time, but I took a nap earlier. Like she, yeah, yeah, she stays up longer than I do. Yeah, yeah my kids ain't, ain't meant to be on the internet. I probably like, oh, it's not. You know, it's just a. I'll tell you the truth about that. If I get off this live, this video, you know, I'm going to say anything to them or about them. Like, it gives them some type of dopamine rush to where, oh my gosh, he seen me. I'm somebody. Like, that type of shit. Like, so, can't get mad at him. I was streaming early on my laptop. I just need a, a my internet connection. Damn, man, he's still talking about haters and trolls and the comments and the likes and insecurities. And it's like, Jesus. I'm like... I'm thinking I might just have to fast forward like 20 minutes at a time. Super trash. <laughs> I need to get some stuff to like to boost up the uh how you talk. <laughs> because you want to prove somebody else right. That's I know who you are, Libra. <laughs> you the type that be stressed the fuck out. <laughs> but you sure do put on a pretty face when you go out and talk and having fun with your friends, huh? Depressing, putting on a good fucking kid, like you know, putting on a good face, huh? <laughs> People don't know like shit, I know them. <laughs> like I, for your family, like that's what, like the one that's really there for you. Yes, you can get it. Uh, uh, drain me dry already though, because that's what they're doing in reality. They're supporting your boy, I'm showing up and like viewing this video and staying. Like and even when they comment crazy shit, it's still good for the algorithm because that's showing fucking engagement on my channel. Like so, yeah, I'm glad y'all blocking them. Shit, I ain't mad at their ass. Like, life with the cool guy, yo, who's looking? It really is fan, I'm telling you. Because why else would you be tuned into my shit? I'm like, because you fans of the show. <laughs> Our life is a fucking movie today, I guess. I don't want to be entertainment, but shit, I will entertain you motherfuckers if I got to. <laughs> I'm not be playing with it. Motherfucker, I'm just, well, I ain't gonna say I'm just like y'all, because I'm not, but at the end of the day, like shit, I'm a fucking human being. And they're not talking about me because they don't know me. Like, what you gonna do? Go off with the conversation I'm having on the internet and then try to flip it how you ever wanna flip it. People still gonna come and go see what I had to say. They gonna like, wait, what? He makes more sense than these other motherfuckers, so. I don't see him on the internet. Don't mean he ain't living his life. That's what we gotta not say. Damn. Damn. This dude is literally the whole live. He's talking about the same four subjects. Insecurity. Him being handsome. Him being successful and trolls and haters that's like literally the four core topics not subjects so i guess subjects topics same thing but he's like interchanging between these four topics throughout the whole live stream like we get it we get it like you don't have to keep repeating yourself literally for an hour and a half
thought, but a lot of people get it twisted because they don't see a person living on the internet, like thinking like things going wrong. No, Jinx never really cared for YouTube. Never really wanted to be on fucking YouTube. Never like he was all about the music. If y'all ain't figured that out with him, like if you ain't tuned into his music, then you should don't you don't know. You shouldn't be asking about him because if you know, like he's doing his music. People be projecting like they, they definitely do be, be projecting. That shit get motherfuckers coming over here and trying to troll. Like you just making me look better because I'm gonna be like this shit was amazing. My whole thing is I just need to get on here more because y'all be paying like that. Like y'all be getting paid like that because y'all just want to hate like. In the minds in here just blocking everything so it ain't like i gotta see or feel anything like hell like the fuck i should be doing this more often i just be like i don't know i hate holding the camera and shit he keeps saying that he doesn't really care about the hate comments in the, in the comment section but his mods and think about it these mods are actually other youtube channels like smaller channels and he's allowing them to control his chat so i thought you said that when people leave comments, whether good or bad, it helps with the engagement because your brother's the expert. So I guess you're an expert too, but you blocking them and delete them. Isn't that counterproductive? Like I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm the, I'm not, I'm not as, I'm not an expert like you guys, but I, I don't know. Your, your words contradict yourself. You're saying that comments, bad or good help with the engagement. But if you delete them all and block everybody, then how does that help engagement? That's like shadow banning them. Exactly, KK. Anybody know? That's one thing you can expect us to always be doing what we came on this planet to do. You got me paid, shit. They already showed up. Showed up and showed up. Things are like, and we're doing with them goddamn negative comments and trolls. Yeah, 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 that's it. I know somebody knew what it was. Stay faithful. Oh, yeah, because he wanted me to say something about him so he can respond and people can go to his channel and he can get monetized and he can start getting paid because that's what he really wants. He wants to be a YouTuber, but nobody is giving him any clout. His sister. Okay, so now he's finally talking about Van literally after an hour and a half of watching this crap. It's crazy. They don't even give him no type of shine. Like, so he just like, oh, because he's an uncle too. And like, we're the two uncles, so we should be feeling against each other. Like, fuck that nigga. I don't know that nigga. That nigga ain't no type of fucking staple in nobody's life. Like, so. I ain't even came. I ain't worried about that nigga. Sometimes they need to put on his head. He said he raps and can't even do it. I don't even know the nigga rap. Like, shit. I don't know nothing about the nigga. Don't, I don't even know what this nigga look like. I don't watch her videos. Like, I ain't never seen the nigga in person. I don't know this nigga. I don't watch T pages like that. So what they showing the nigga or not. I don't know what this nigga look like. Only reason I know his name is because you know, I'm mentioning his name. Like, only reason I know he's the twins' uncle. I always said that. Like, I don't know nothing about this nigga. This nigga's a nobody. I'm like a fucking bot. <laughs> like, that's what I was like. That's how I feel about the nigga. Yeah, KJ is my son. When I was playing basketball, I seen has anyone seen the old movie Project X? I seen Project X, but that was like the party movie. I don't even know about some monkeys in that mother. Oh, they won't. The motherfuckers gonna get blocked. I know they beat in here because when I, I started mentioning his name, I started they started popping back up. Like that's how I know. Like they still be watching. Look, the views went back up. I just, now I want me to talk about these niggas. Is that what it is? Should I just start going at these niggas' head? You know what's funny though? I'm a changed person, but growing up. 50 Cent was my favorite rapper, right? And how 50 Cent came in the game, he dissed every single body. Like, he came up off beef. Like, so, is that what what I should be doing? Like, should I just be just ripping these niggas' heads off? Like, is that what y'all really want me to do? If this shit gets to, like, I'll say, 130 likes, I'm gonna just start ripping these niggas. If some haters like this shit, is that what y'all really want? Because I said 119 likes enough right now. If this shit hits 130 likes, I know that's what I need to do. Just destroy all these fucking niggas. <laughs> I thought this was Mr. Positivity, Mr. Wisdom, Mr. I thought that's what he does. I mean, at least when I went on on his Instagram, I was glancing, glancing at it. That's kind of like the vibes that I was getting. Like he was the more positive one. But it seems like he is the more out of control one. Like he's he's unpredictable. That's probably what I should say. He's unhinged. Like he'll do anything for these likes. He said, if I hit 130 likes, then I'll just go for their heads. 
see, I changed this shit from like positive minds only, right? Like, so, man, I, I ain't got time. It's like, you're supposed to be positive. No, fuck that shit. <laughs> Look at the Bro, you haven't been positive. You've been talking about the same four topics, like literally the whole live stream. They want me to kill these niggas. But. Is that what I'm saying? Like, we can just let it. Let me see it first and then, like, then y'all can delete it. Because y'all be on that shit. Like, because when they say stuff, it gives me more stuff to say. Even if, uh, if it says something about my team, I don't, I don't care. Just let me see it first. Then y'all delete because they they tag team that shit. I don't all I get to see is deleted message. That's the only thing I see. I see they didn't like that shit when I said get it to 130 likes. The haters really didn't like it. Somebody disliked it because they didn't want me to. They don't want me to fucking get on my ass. What I should start doing is pulling cards on their ass. Like man, like start like you know, like digging in the closet, see what they got hidden. Like cause that's what they really want. At the end of the day, like these bullshit TV the couch potato these niggas really want me to fucking dive in and see what they fucking hiding in the closet because that's what the fuck i'm gonna do next like shit people want to see the ratings at the end of the day like shit all i gotta do is pick a motherfucker to read <laughs> like so i suggest this a motherfucker don't want no problems keep that shit over there because i have no mind like i have no problem exposing the motherfucker yeah, it is what it is <laughs> like shit they work and they go find crimes and take it back to the facts that's 100 percent that's what they're doing I'm trying, I want to see just like just to see what the fuck they saying. But if it's the same shit like soy sauce and like shit, that shit, that shit, block that shit quick, cause that ain't shit, nothing to go off of. That's the fucking most retarded shit. You, what the fuck? What the? How can you really go at a nigga who's fucking slow? They didn't say this boy wore, went wore helmets to school, got on a short bus, stayed in one class the whole day throughout high school. How can I really attack this person? That's like me picking at um, somebody in a, a slow class because we're different. But when you come over here picking at me, then that's when I, that's they started with me. That's all I gotta say. These motherfuckers came over here about y'all seen that shit. I didn't go over nobody messing nobody's shit. This nigga came over here, so that just gives me all the right to destroy this nigga in whatever fashion, form, or way that I can think of. But I, be, I best believe, like, yeah, this nigga don't want no problems. Who bots? They followers. Cause why would you? I'm gonna say, oh, I'm gonna go over there and say something. Type in source. You gotta type that shit in. It has no fucking type of meaning or nothing like that. That's some slow shit. Why I gotta do it. I don't know what he's talking about this soy sauce stuff. I don't know if that's supposed to be like some kind of analogy. I really don't know what he's talking about. Soy sauce. Why can I have somebody who can communicate? I can debate with. I can't debate with this nigga. I can't debate with nobody who don't fucking own, don't got no type of assets. Don't have, don't got to own home to live. They don't sleep in the bed. How can I argue with a nigga who don't got to own bed? They own bed to sleep in. Like, how can I argue with a nigga who don't got to own a bed? They own bed to sleep in. You, I can't. That's like. Seeing two people argue from afar back, both of them look crazy. No matter what, who's right or wrong, if you see me arguing with this nigga and this nigga ain't got nothing, we both look crazy. The fuck I supposed to be mature and fucking positive minds only and y'all got me over here fucking talking about a fucking van? This nigga, this nigga don't even got a van to sleep in. The fuck this nigga's name should be Couch. Call that nigga Couch from now on. This nigga don't got no fucking vehicle. <laughs> Goddamn. Shit tripping. He, he do want us on him. He just don't know. Like, he don't get what he didn't ask for. <laughs> his new name is... Exactly. Young Couch. Call that nigga Young Couch. Flip that shit. That's his new name. Young Couch. Young CP. Young Couch potato ass motherfucker. <laughs> so now Royalty's brother Van is a uh, Young Couch. Oh my god. Y'all said this nigga got kids and sleeping on somebody's couch? What the fuck? I ain't gonna lie though. In 2013, when I was fucking poor and I was going through it and I was like... Didn't know, have no type of vision or like set no type of goals in my life. I was sleeping on somebody's couch too. I ain't gonna lie, 2013, you know how old I was? I was 23. I just got out of the military, didn't know what I was gonna do, had no time. Like I said, wasn't setting goals. This was before all the YouTube shit. Like, so I can relate to fucking sleeping on the couch. But I was 23. I don't know how old this dude is, but I can relate. Like, so I, I ain't gonna chop this nigga head off like that because 23 year old me would be mad at myself, you know? Like, so, but definitely free that couch up. And I ain't stay on that couch for that long. Like, I feel like this nigga been on the couch for a year now. Been on it. That's how I feel. I don't know. He damn near 40 with nothing. Oh, y'all saying like damn. Oh my goodness. So y'all saying he's in his, at least his mid 30s. If this nigga is in his 40s and he's sleeping on the couch and he got kids, oh, this bum ass nigga. Y'all want me to give this nigga clout so he can get off the couch. Is that what it is? Y'all want me to get this nigga off the couch, give him some fucking, some type of attention? <laughs> you said, what was my MOS? So I know you. Damn, so not only did, you guys remember at the start he was attacking royalty, um, 
And then he was accusing her of being the reason why Lexi and CJ quote unquote broke up. And now, I mean, obviously for the last hour or so afterwards, he's been on the same four topics, which thankfully he got off of. That was so boring, even with all the skipping around I did. But now he's really attacking Van. And I don't even, Van is not even that vocal. Like, yeah, he makes appearances here and there on BSC TV, but the dude doesn't, like, attack anyone. And this dude literally went off on him because he sleeps on a couch. I don't know if he sleeps on the couch or maybe he just is on the couch when he's around royalty. Who knows if that guy actually, Van could be, could have his own apartment. He could have his own house just because he's always in royalty's vlogs from, I don't even see him all that time on Royalty's vlog. And I think he's, like, managing her or something like that. But why does it matter? Why why does he care? I mean, you look like you're leeching off of CJ So Cool. So, like, you're only, you only got popularity because of CJ So Cool. So calling somebody out for the same thing you're doing kind of makes you a hypocrite. About the Marines, because in the Army, they, they call it a different thing. And in the Air Force, they call jobs a different thing. But I was a, a 3381. I was a culinary specialist. He was a culinary specialist. I thought this man was like a, like, you know, a real, like, he, he was really in the field. Like, he was, like, really fighting on it. But this dude was in the, he was a culinary specialist. So he was uh, making chicken noodle soup. He's, he's older than Charlie. And he's sleeping on his little sister couch. Uh, that's why he came in and said, soy sauce, this boy lost his fuck. He don't know what the fuck to do. I'm going to tell you, Van, if you're still in here, because I know he probably is, this is how you become successful. It's called the law of attraction. you got to visualize your success. you got to know where you want to go in life. And you got to believe it. You can't let people doubt and tell you you're not going to be successful. Because then, you know what? You're going to believe them. Because you've been failing your whole life up until this point. So you need to stop believing what other people tell you. The law of attraction is set some goals. Believe whatever it is that you want to believe. If you want a house of your own, visualize yourself in the house you want. Visualize yourself in the car you want. And start working towards that. Don't fucking get on this internet talking about some soy sauce. Because I promise you, only thing you're going to manifest in your life is more soy sauce. So, cut that bullshit out. Like, and that's my fucking advice to you. If, if I'm going to do something to you, I'm going to give you some advice. Because you ain't shit but a bum ass nigga. That's all I got to say for that nigga. <laughs> I'm talking about no boost him. Y'all school, but it's... Oh my life, you need to manifest that way off that couch. Because honestly, you ain't helping nobody. You're not helping your sister. You're not helping Day and CJ when you're over there. They don't... How, how do you know... Like, if he's sleeping on the couch, you know how much money he's saving? If he actually has a job, I'm not I'm not really interested in Van's, because Van is not really a social media influencer, all right? He has a private life. It's different when you're a public figure and then you're a private citizen. To me, he's more of a private citizen. Yeah, he might make appearances. We know about him because he's Rose, he's brother, but he's really a private citizen. But they treat him like he's a public figure. How do you know that man has, doesn't have a full-time job and just lives with his sister? That's a lot of money that he's saving. So you don't know what kind of goals he has, but I guess they're going to bash him the same way they're going to bash royalty. Ever say your name when they come to see your house? You know who they do say? Uncle Kenneth. You know why? Because I'm a real like father figure. Like I, I have my life going for me. I take care of my children. I have my own home. Like, yeah, so... Don't be a fucking hindrance to somebody's life. Like, don't don't be a don't hurt your sister. Help your sister. You're supposed to be over. You're supposed to be guiding her. You're supposed to be helping her. You over there fucking hurting her, sleeping on the couch on the internet, and you don't even pay the bills. You don't fucking pay the bills in your own house. You don't got no house. Like so, why you on the internet and I know it ain't your Wi-Fi? You probably don't got no phone service. Like bro, why you messing with me? Why you worried about what I got going on? All my bills is in my name. I pay all the bills. If CJ gives me money, it's because I, I did some work for him. Like I work, I go over there. I'm, I'm not just sitting around. I add value to him. Like that's that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to add value. If, you, if I can't give no good advice, then at least you need to go be learning from somebody. You need to learn from Charlene how to get your YouTube set up. Like you need to know, not come over here bothering me, but you need to go learn some shit because you're not helping anybody. Honestly, you a bum ass nigga that don't have no type of goals for themselves. Coming at a young nigga who has seven kids and is taking care of all of them by myself. I just can't believe. That you're trying, you need to you monetize. Damn, you got seven kids. Well, I mean. Shout out to Kenneth if he is really taking care of seven kids because seven kids is a lot. That's a big responsibility. But if CJ is the one taking care of three of them, then I um, mean that's a whole different story. But according to him, he's taking care of them. But people are saying that he he wasn't changing diapers or something like that. But seven kids is a big responsibility. So shout out to any man that is taking care of seven kids on his own. 
do this nigga got post videos or anything? Like, do or this nigga just be commenting on people shit? Like, who? Like, what does this nigga got going for himself? I know he sleep on the couch. He don't take care of his kids. What does he got going on for his life? Nothing. I see no he this nigga ain't got shit going for itself. Grab this. I know y'all gonna screen record this, but you think I care? Obviously they asked what they came with my shit. And ain't nobody going there looking for these bum ass niggas. Like three six mafia. So oh, I forgot y'all said this nigga's supposed to be a rapper. Please somebody send me a link to this nigga music and I'm gonna react to his shit. Y'all want me to react to this nigga's music? What? Uh, let me find. What's this nigga rap name? Cause I know it better not be Van. What's this nigga rap name? If this nigga ain't got no rap name, oh, I know he got you. Claim to be a rapper. What the fuck? I ain't seen it. Why like you fucking record that shit in the fucking the couch? My fucking recording music, this shit fucking trash. Fucking fail that. You can't even call him a fail rapper. A fail rapper is somebody who fucking made a fucking hit, then cop fell off. This nigga ain't even trash, bum ass nigga. <laughs> He's supposed to have a rice. Right. Well, as far as that rice right, jar, they need to be speaking some positive messages to that nigga to get off the couch. This nigga got 793 subscribers. His shorts only got fucking 193 views. Your shorts. YouTube promote shorts, bro. You, you it don't matter what you post. YouTube fucking promote shorts. So for your music to get 138 views is fucking trash. You shouldn't fucking try to do music. You know what you should do? You should go get a fucking job as a janitor. Clean up. Clean up around the house. Because I doubt that's what you're doing. Because like, this nigga is fucking, is a bomb ass rapper. <laughs> but listen, let me see this fucking YouTube video. I ain't about to watch this shit. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. I, I ain't even about to get this nigga. 1980. Oh, you two years older than me. Yeah, you damn near fucking 40. Mm -mm. His biggest song. Got I guess what royalty? I don't know. You got no. You got some. You got a song that hit two point six thousand views. It ain't viral. I don't know why you put that in there. <laughs> the fuck is it's not viral. Oh yeah, you trash, my nigga. Van, <laughs> my guy. The shoes are trash. No, we don't wear Vans, my guy. <laughs> we wear couches now. <laughs> All right, let me get off this nigga. I don't know why y'all took me there. That's why I be trying to avoid. You know why I went there? Because I ain't smoking no weed. I'm not calm. When I don't smoke no weed, I don't be myself, honestly. Like, so that's why I kind of entertain that. But don't let me go there no more, y'all. Please, because that is not possible. That's not me. That's not who I am. <laughs> go back to the drawing board and, like, figure this shit out. Because it ain't too late. I I'm going to be honest with you. You my big sister's age. It's not too late, late to get your life turned around. Like, you can still fix this shit. But don't try to be no fucking rapper. Go get you a fucking nine to five and take care of them kids. Take care of your kids, nigga. What the fuck? If you're going to do anything, take care of your kids. Don't be on the internet trolling, talking about soy sauce. Go take care of your fucking kids. Because you're a bum ass nigga if you don't. Lame bum, whatever the, the names you can think of. If you don't take. Damn, all this bashing on Realty's brother. I thought this was Mr. Preaching Positivity. Seems like for like the only like, I mean, he's only provided maybe like five ten minutes worth of positive talk and then he would just mix it in with more negativity and more bashing and t taking jabs at him so you're like telling him hey you should get a job but then you're saying he's a worthless bum he'll never be anything he'll never achieve anything he's just a couch potato it's like damn man you don't even know this dude is a private citizen he doesn't even publish that much on youtube how do you know he's not already working already you don't know that you just see clips here and there or appearances on royalties channel like you don't know what this man's got going on unlike other public figures like like your brother your brother your brother publishes a lot on youtube so one could assume what's going on but van doesn't publish so you don't know what that dude's got going on in his personal life hey, your kids you ain't no man so that's all I can say. If y'all on a nigga side that don't take care of his kids, what that speak on you? What that say about you? Huh? If you support this nigga, you know he got some kids out there and the kids probably need clothes, food, and shoes, and this nigga's living on the couch, not being productive at all, just on the internet, you should be a fucking shame to yourself. That's all I got to say. You should be a fucking shame. They can't talk mess about me. The motherfuckers don't know me. Huh? You gonna go out, they gonna what? Try to flip this? I don't care. Like, I, I don't care. They don't know me. They wish they were me. It take 10 of them niggas to get on a one YouTube channel to get the views. 
That's what like these niggas is fucking split splitting views and splitting like I don't do that shit. What the fuck? I don't worry about these niggas. They can talk as much as they want. They gonna just keep bringing people to my channel and my page. <laughs> yeah, that's what that is. When you smoke is when we gonna get it. Exactly like shit. Man. Right now we on some negative shit. <laughs> like, really right now. No, he ain't bothering me. It's just I just found out who this nigga is. Damn near forty year old man who don't take care of his kid that lives on his little sister couch. That's on my shit coming like man, what the that don't make no fucking sense. All right, so we're going to wrap up here. But, I mean, that was uh, CJ's brother, Kenneth. Um, I don't know how he was able to find out how Van, what he does. He says that Van doesn't take care of his kids. I don't know where he found that information, but somehow he did find it. I guess somebody in the comment section was egging him on or feeding him with this um, but this is the guy that claims positivity. He's like, he's kind of like the preacher in the family, the, ch the church preacher, or that at least that's what he's promoting or tries to sell on his channel. But he did the complete opposite of that for the last hour and a half. Cause I actually haven't completed the whole live stream. We'll probably react to the rest of it in a different video, but I don't want to make this video like two hours long as well. But I mean, this is crazy. First attacking royalty, now attacking her brother. It's getting out of hand, folks. It's getting out of control. But anyway, just my my opinion, my reaction. Let me know what you guys think in the uh, comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching.